the first thing is optimizing the, the, the three or four performance elements in your existing business. Front end, lead, conversion, yep. back end, which is, I mean, a second, you know, upsell, which is getting more yield. Third is, is uh, residual. If you have a product or service to sell, the fourth is adding other products or service to extend the lifetime value. Since most business owners aren't good at that, the copywriter that wants to really ace it, it's one thing to sell a generic service. And you say, hey, I'm a copywriter, Katie, you want to use me? Well, there's a ton of that, right? But if I go out and say, I know how to make the people you, you already get buy more, buy more often, buy longer, be more profitable, and or convert more, that's a whole, it's the same thing, but it's semantic. Let's take uh, any category of business. Uh, okay, easy one, which is probably very plentiful, weight loss, okay? Yes. So if you really want to understand weight loss, before you talk to any prospective weight loss client that you're either soliciting or that you see wants to be solicited, uh, you go to amazon.com, you go two or three years forward and backward. I mean, current and backward. You look at the top 20 or 30 bestsellers. You look at the title, the subtitle of all those books, because most books, you know this, Katie, sell because of the promise, not the content. Then you go to the chapter title, same thing. They give you insight into the mind of the market. But then here's where it gets really cool. You then go to the zeros and the fives. Zeros are the ones that they're being the, the worst and the best reviews, right? Mm -hmm. People don't understand when you are passionate, positively passionate, negatively passionate, your subconscious overrides your conscious. And if you've ever listened to somebody who's thrilled or pissed, if you if you take out the vulgarity, their mind and their mouth expresses their joy or their anger in some of the most crystalline, dimensionalized, pictorially vivid graphic imagery that is amazingly clear. So whether they're disappointed or, or exhilarated, you go and you look at the zeros, ones, and the fives, and you scrape them and you separate them. So now you've got articulation in the mind, in the, in, the, in the words of the subconscious of people who didn't get what they wanted and people who got more than they wanted, right? Yes. Now you do the same thing for discussion groups or, or, uh, or review sites that are general. And then you do one more level. You do it for your generic competitors, and then you do it for alternative uh, sources. Alternative sources means if I were selling, if I were going to target somebody that sold a supplement, I would want to see all the reviews of them and the supplement buyers, but I would also want to see all the reviews of people selling equipment, people personal trainer, people selling portion control food, people selling books. Now I got all this knowledge that I can now use to demonstrate that I understand what you're trying to do. I understand your market better than you do.